Okay, truth in advertising. Uh, booting Echo in 12 seconds. I want to give a big thank you to Glenn Kate. Uh, he uh, was the one who recommended I make this presentation. I think anybody would be interested in it, but I was surprised you guys chose me as one of those. Uh, and also, once you get Ekahau started up, doing a survey point in six seconds. Uh, how many of you guys feel like a crab at the end of the day holding up your laptop, standing there for 30 seconds or 40 seconds? And that's how I felt. And uh, so I'll, I'll move along and tell you some more stories, but slide number two, uh, it'll look good enough. So there's one word I want you guys to remember out of this, which is CPU benchmark. Before you buy your next laptop, don't buy it on sale. Don't buy it because it looks pretty. Go to CPU benchmark. I'm going to tell. This is what I'm telling you. I'm going to told you and all that other stuff. So let's jump right into it. So you can see on my screen right here. Uh, I don't have Ekahau running, and I'm going to. My mouse isn't working too good up here on this screen. So I'm going to go up here to the task manager. You can see uh, I've got this organized. The CPU is idling. I've got Firefox, the big memory hog up there. I've got IPA running to show you that. Uh, I've actually got some load on this. And don't worry, it's not going to blow up. But uh, I'm going to go down here and start uh, Ekahau. So here we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. Oh, it's already up at nine seconds. And yes, you see I still I need to pay my uh, bill to get my... Uh, uh, my license renewed, and um, but it was due just a few days ago. So let's see if I have this up. Uh, I'll go ahead and open the file here. Okay. Whoops! Don't you weren't supposed to see that. Okay. Uh, conferences. This conference. This and here's the hotel. So here we are at the hotel. And I'm going to go down in here and do a survey. I want to do a stop and go survey. So we have this set up for stop and go. And I think we're standing right, right about here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, and we're done. And uh, while I'm talking, I'm going to do something that's going to be a lot harder. Oh, whoops, pushing too many buttons. So let's go over here and open up a really hard file. It's going to take it a put it to work. Let's see. Okay. Uh, there we go. This will take maybe about 30 seconds. But while that is going to take 30 seconds, it's a 2.4, 2.5 meg file with a lot of data in it. Let me go back to the PowerPoint slide. And there's three things I want to talk about when it comes to upgrading this. What can you do for free? What do you do that's low cost? And when, when do you have to go big and spend a lot of money? And um, so what do you do for free? The free thing that you can do to get a lot of speed out of your laptop is get a registry cleaner. Uh, there's a free one out there called CC Cleaner, which I really like. It's free, download it for free, run it. Whenever you feel like your laptop's running slow, just run it. I'm using TuneUp Utilities uh, just because I'm too lazy to take it off and go back to CC Cleaner. Uh, bad habits, but uh, they both are good registry cleaners. I ran them before I uh, came up here, and whenever Ekahal gets uh, running slow, um, I go ahead and the, run the registry cleaner and things get speeded up. The next thing that you can do for low cost is upgrade your RAM. Max out the capacity of your laptop. Uh, max out, uh, like most laptops have two slots. And if you can do 16 gig, do 16 gig. If you have an older machine that can only do 8 gig, go to 8 gig. But there's a trick you can do. Uh, I, my first laptop, and uh, the way I got started in this was uh, I was using heat mapper free. Here, here it's coming up. This is, I did a GPS survey of New York City. So this is a big file. But, um, and oh, there, it's loaded already. So now that it's loaded, I can just zoom right in and move right around. Takes a little bit of processing power to do that. But you can see where the GPS survey was as we drove around Manhattan at 50 miles an hour at one in the morning. And um, so, uh, you have a large CAD file. Uh, not yet. There were 7,437 access points captured in that 30 minutes. So, 
anyway, so uh, uh, yeah, I've done CAD files and it slows it down. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I want to tell you a trick. If you happen to have an older laptop, I had a Dell Latitude when I got started on this. And uh, the way I actually got my Ekahow was I had the free copy of Heat Mapper, and I would do that for people's houses. And word got around, somebody said, we're in trouble. This person had a million square foot facility. And I said, well, you know, you can haul freight with a pickup truck or twice the freight with a dually pickup truck, but you need an 18-wheeler. And so we made a deal uh, that I would go buy Ekahow if he would pay pay me enough to pay, make it work. Well, it worked great. He was thrilled that uh, with the results we got with it. but my arm hurt at the end of the day. Uh, it, uh, and he, uh, so anyway, we worked out how to get that sped up. I want to uh, talk about this one particular thing here. How can you push a laptop that can only do 8 gig to 12? Well, the Dell that I had, you could actually take out uh, one of the 4 gig SIMs and put in an 8 gig SIM. It's, out, it's not factory authorized, but it will work. And I was able to get 12 gig into that one laptop, and that helped quite a bit. The other big magic special sauce on low cost is to put an SSD in your, in your um, laptop. Uh, I measured the before and after of going from a hard drive to an SSD. It really is 15 times faster. But hey, like the ShamWow guy, there's more. So when do you go big? And that's when you go get a new laptop. And the core thing you look for is not the, uh, the RAM or the features of the Christmas blacklight sale is, you're married to that CPU. You can't change it. You can get a, a, a CPU, uh, an i7 or an i5, but you're married to it. Oh, there's that word again, CPU benchmark. You, uh, you need to remember that. So um, I'm sort of jumped around. How much time do I have? Three minutes. So um, I uh, had the old Dell Latitude uh, that it had an index of 1400. And when I started up Ekahawa, it meant go get a cup of coffee. Now with this, uh, my index it went from 1,400 to 8,000. I've got 16 gig of RAM. I've maxed it out. I've got an HDD. It takes 12 seconds to start ESS, as you saw. So um, I know I'm going to jump over to the website here in, a, in just a second. But did you know that just because you bought an i7 doesn't mean you got a fast PC, because you can get an i5 that will beat an i7. And you can see that here on this chart. Uh, this is what I have in this laptop right here. I have a 6700 HQ. It's got an index of 8145. But notice down here, at the very uh, down here, I've got an i5 here that's above an i7. And so I'm going to go over to the website. And I recommend you guys uh, do that right now if you want. Uh, you're out there and look up your PC. So here we're on the, the website. If I do a control F and look for a 6700, and it's gonna be uh, right here. So you can see it's got an index of 8145. But notice as we scan on down, you'll see that there's other indexes where uh, I've got an i5 right here at 7000 that's beating an i7 at 4900. So did you get a good Black Friday deal? So before you go out on Black Friday, go check that. Um, when do you go big? I found uh, that if your index is uh, above 4,000 or around 4,000, uh, that should be a less than 4,000, not greater than 4,000. The cost-benefit analysis is where do you spend the money to go buy the extra RAM and the SSD? That's up to you. But when it's above 8,000, that's where you go, what's the bang for the buck? I've done some research, and for a 20% increase of CPU, I can actually go get a 10,000 index. Uh, well, let's go out to the website. You can actually get a laptop that goes up to 12,000, but to do that, you got this, this laptop here is maxed out at 16 gig. To get to that 10 or 12,000, you've got to go to a laptop that has a frame that'll handle 32 gig of RAM, and the price doubles. So when do you get 20% more processing speed for twice the price. You need to make that decision on your own. But uh, I found that for this laptop, uh, I've got a, a pretty good bang for the buck. Uh, and oh, where's that word again? CPU benchmark. Let's see what else. Uh, I've got 21 seconds uh, and I've shown you that. So then uh, let's go over here to IPA. So we're running Ekahow with a 2.5 gigs file at New York City and I'm running uh, IPA here. And I've got three dongles, so I've got dongle uh, channel one, 
Uh, there's channel six. So here, I'm going to go ahead and do a, whoop, I'm out of time, but uh, okay. So we're doing IPA with uh, channels one, six, and 11 all at the same time. And there we go, processing. There we go. So now we need to get Joel up here to give us a uh, give us a demo of this, but just no slowing down. So plenty of power, and this is not the fastest laptop you can buy, but I think the bang for the buck, uh, it's doing it's pretty good, pretty fast, and it doesn't weigh as much as my old one. So before you go buy your next laptop, go to CPU Benchmark, get the best index that you can buy and then go get your, uh, max out your RAM and SSD.